violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Cyberspace? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get into the video. A bullet strikes at Chicago Police Station in Morgan Park during a deadly shooting last night. As Mugo Digway reports, now one woman is dead and the man is in the hospital as police search for the shooters. You got bullets hitting the police station in Chicago. This is absolutely insane. Um, the leadership has allowed this violence to go on way too long it doesn't seem like they're posturing against it um so we are in for a long ride but what does that say about the safety of your city when you have bullets hitting the police station it's crazy the super gremlins are on demon time so the victims here did what most people would think to do when they're being attacked, which is to pull into a nearby police station. But in this case, the suspects did not care. They just kept on shooting. If you look behind me right now, you will see this bullet hole on the window of the police station out here. That happened as the suspects were shooting into the victim's car. Let's start with video of the scene. You can see officers surrounding this car. It appears that's the same one the victims were in. Mm. All this happened around 8 last night near 111th and Monterey. Chicago police say a man and woman were in a car when a great Chrysler approached. People inside that Chrysler started shooting. The victims. So there's a man and woman inside. And what I'm telling you guys is a lot of these sisters are hanging with these street dudes and they got ops they got enemies and they got people who want them dead and are following them and whatnot and that's exactly what happened here um they were looking for the homie and they killed the woman that he was with so though that's that's one of the dangers of dating street guys for all the women who are watching that's one of the dangers but you know they don't care they're, they're still gonna do it at least in the community, they still don't do it. They don't care. Drove off and eventually pulled into the 22nd District Police Station. But the suspects got out of their car and continued shooting at the victims in front of the police station. Police say a female victim was hit in the head. She later died at Christ Hospital. The male victim had a graze wound to the head, but we're told he is in good condition. <laughs> wow. And these dudes always live to tell the tale until they don't, right? Okay. But I mean, he, I mean he, he pretty much, and if he got dudes hunting for him like that, he's probably on demon time out here too. Let's keep it a buck, okay? And he got that woman killed, just hanging with her, just being around her. And do you think he feels any remorse? He was grazed. It's probably like, ah, uh, another day. At this point, no one is in custody and police are asking anyone who may know something about the shooting from last night to contact them. In Morgan Park, Mugul Digway, CBS 2 News. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like the video hell share the video and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets i'm jen quavius jackson here live reporting from atlanta georgia bgzm news 17. Right now, we are learning more about an arrest linked to street racing incidents throughout this city this weekend. Our Dane Placco is live on the northwest side getting some information just released by police. What did we learn, Dane? Hi, Sally. Yeah, there was a lot of crime in Chicago over the weekend, unfortunately, but most of the focus at uh, today's Monday morning uh, review by the Chicago police was uh, on the issue of drag racing and drifting that affected a number of neighborhoods throughout the city this weekend. Now, in an event that was clearly organized on social media, hundreds of people descended on various locations in the city for drag. Wow. 
Wow. And they are organizing these meetups on social media. And this is not just in Chicago. As you guys can see, we did stories in LA where they were doing this. Um, we got stories in Atlanta where they're doing this. And it's very dangerous. People driving recklessly, getting drunk, then driving home. Um, it looks like there's a plethora of burrito gremlins who are organizing these events. And, you know, those events get shot up too. So it's not a good thing. Very dangerous. They're marking up the streets. They have no care in the world. And although you want to have fun with your cars, you need to go to like some racetrack or something where y'all can really do that because it's just it can't be allowed it's very dangerous and people are getting shot up at these events people are getting killed people are driving home drunk and and you know slaughtering families in in drunk driving situations so it's not a good situation racing in car stunts blocking off streets and busy intersections the scenario has been increasing over the past couple years and remember last month the city council passed an ordinance allowing police to seize vehicles involved in those activities and hold them pending a ten thousand dollar fine well, superintendent david brown says at this point nine people have been arrested and seven vehicles were seized over the weekend but he says they're studying surveillance videos and pictures taken by police at the scene some of those events and they have enough information he says to impound another 22 cars when they find them and beyond just the public safety issue in several cases participants threw rocks and bottles at police and police cars chief brian mcdermott told us this morning they've now organized a special task force to deal with the issue chicago police department will enforce the recently passed ordinance which holds those participating in drag racing and drifting accountable one of the things that these groups do is that they highlight their drag racing on social media, but that's evidence for us to tow their car at a later date. Yep. So warning to those, uh, you know, trying to sensationalize drag racing, thank you, because we're going to charge you and tow your car with up to a $10,000 fine. And they need to come down hard on this, definitely, so people learn that you can't do this type of stuff. I had a text exchange this morning with 42nd Ward Alderman Brendan Riley, who represents the downtown ward where this has been a problem and was a problem over the weekend. He continues to be frustrated, and uh, I want to read you a part of the text that he sent me. He says, I've used menu money to add barricades and islands to Lower Wacker to make it harder to drift cars. I've had tried everything I can to put an end to this problem, but at the end of the day, it comes down to aggressive enforcement. I help write the laws. That's my role. We need the superintendent to take this seriously and allocate the resources necessary to stamp it out. And they're not going to do that because it disproportionately affects black and brown communities. See, this is the problem with linking us together because, you know, there are probably some super gremlins out there, but it looks like the burrito gremlins are leading this movement here. So you can't link our issues with their issues because they are not the same. I read that quote to Superintendent Brown and he said, yeah, we are taking it seriously. In fact, he said they may be going to the city council and asking them to toughen the laws. In addition to that impoundment of the vehicles involved in the actual drag racing and drifting, they might, may now be looking to impound vehicles of people who simply show up at these events to watch. So they know they have a problem on their hands. They say they've created a task force to deal with it. And uh, we'll have to see how it turns out as the uh, weekends continue to unfold this summer. Live on the north side, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Sally, back to you. Yeah, as we see that video, it definitely is a problem for our city. Dane, thanks so much for that report. Gang violence and other kind of violence.